Hey, what's going on, guys? Today, we're going to dive in to some of the different settings you can use within Lightburn to engrave photos. And here's one I did very recently on a, it's a slate coaster. As you can see, it's Deadpool. And I chose this image because it's got lots of highlights and lots of shadows. We're going to go into a little bit more detail of the type of settings you can use within Lightburn to get the type of details like that. So yeah, if you're new here, guys, definitely give it a thumbs up and subscribe because we are going to go into a little bit more detail with Lightburn, how you can get fantastic results of that. Because I know there's so many different options to select. You don't really know which one to use unless you try every single one and see how it works out for you, really. So you guys stick around because we'll have a look into what type of results we can get from the different settings within Lightburn. We're going to do everything at the same speed and power, but we're going to be selecting different drop downs within Lightburn for photo engraving. Enjoy. So these are the images I got loaded. So they're all the same image. They're all going to be the same speeds and power. So it's 350 millimeters a minute at 70% power for every single one. But the difference is, I don't know if you can see this, we got Stucky, Ordered, Atkinson, Dither, Jarvis, and Grayscale. So I'm going to run this. So this is the piece I'm going to be engraving. It's just a scrap piece of slate i got laying around. So it's all set up. It's all lined up, ready to go. So I'm just going to run these six images at these six different settings. I'm just going to see which one turns out the best, really. So at least we know for future reference when we are going to be engraving portraits on slate, we'll know exactly what settings to use in Lightburn and we wouldn't have to mess around with things like this again. Right, so we've got everything set up. Let's just home the laser. So we've got Stucky or Stucky, however you pronounce it. Then we got Ordered. That one there is Atkinson. We've got Dither. If I can get that without too much light on it. And that one's Jarvis. And then that one there was Grayscale. I've written them on because I think the slate somehow moved and it was putting it in the wrong place, so I just stopped it and wrote it on. There's really not much difference in these five, but I found, looking really close, I found Dither just to be slightly better than, than all the other ones. But you could definitely get away with using any of those five. Just don't use Grayscale, because as you can see, it just looks terrible. So yeah, guys, that's my test with the different options for engraving photos on Slate in Lightburn. I put a photo on the screen of the original image I used uh, because obviously you do need to prepare it a little bit beforehand, otherwise it won't engrave properly. And if you want to know how to prepare your photos for slate, first of all, I'll put a video uh, it comes up on one of these sides. So guys, I hope you learned something here today because I definitely did. So any photos I'll be doing on slate in the future, I'll just be using the dither option. But yeah, guys, that's the video. Hope you enjoyed it. Like I said, give it a like and subscribe if you're not already.